What's good, YouTube? It's Mr. Air Max himself, CEO now, and I'm back like I never left. Today, I have another unboxing for you guys, the Air Max 90 in that royal colorway. But y'all know my motto by now. I do not to come here to talk for 25 minutes. I come in to show you guys these sneakers so you can decide whether or not you want to pick these sneakers up or not. Once again, I got sick. I don't know what's going on. It's just not my year. Um, Last time I did a video, I was sick. I was just getting over a cold. I was still sick at the time. Um, I had the flu for like two, three days. Um, I got these sneakers last Monday. Um, today's Sunday. I got them last Monday. But I was just too sick to put out the review. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's just not my year. So what I'm going to do moving forward is just take more care of myself. You know what I mean? My whole family was sick. I had the flu. My youngest son had the flu. My other son had strep throat. My other son, it was just everything, everybody. So it was just, uh, I guess, a little luck, a uh, case of bad luck, I guess, when it comes to sickness. But we're going to try to move on, get you guys out this review. I know you've been waiting for it. I know other people have the review out, but like I always say, they don't do it the way now does it. So let's get down this review. Air Max 90 in that royal colorway. As always, they like to stuff it in the box this year for the anniversary. So you guys, I'm going to give you a look at that, what it looks like right there. Nice and tight in there. I know there's been a lot of issues going on about people not liking that, being stuffed in there. To me, I really don't care because I don't store my sneakers in the boxes that they come with. So it really doesn't bother me. But like I said, let me show you. I can't even get out the box. Let me show you guys. There you go. Bow. Let me get the other sneaker out the box real quick. And as always, get that box out of the way. Air Max 90 in that royal colorway. Dope sneaker. Um, like I said, you got to put a little work to him just to get him fitting and it looks better once you see your own feet like i said coming out the box is kind of crazy but like it's a dope sneaker you like you know what i mean um i got all the other colorways that have been released this year so far so this isn't really a huge difference you know what i mean um you got your royal blue down here that's pretty much it and you got your gray you got your white on the mesh right there let me take the stuffing like out like i always do so you guys can actually see what the sneaker looks like you know what i mean a lot of people like i said are complaining um, about that but like I said once you slide your foot into the sneaker it's comfortable it looks good you'll be good to go um, as far as any bad quality on the sneaker uh, it's okay like I said for $120 for that price range I'm not expecting for the sneaker to be perfect I understand there's going to be some flaws to some degree a lot of people were really upset about the toe box feeling like there was a lot of dents in there and things like that and some people were telling me they ordered two three different pairs and then pick the best left one, the best best right run from each pair, and just put one together and then set the other ones back. So if you feel like you have to do that, it's okay to do that. It's your money. So if you want to order a couple pairs or you want to go to the store and tell them to bring you a couple pairs out, then you're able to do that. Uh, only thing about this sneaker was that it wasn't available in store, which was, I don't know why. I mean, maybe around me it wasn't. I don't know if anyone else was able to get it out from any other stores. But the only way I was able to get this sneaker was from the sneaker app. And actually, I had to go down half a size. I usually do like 10 and a half. The 10 and a half sold out. So I was able, lucky, able to get a size 10 in this sneaker. So I was excited about that. But these sold out um, pretty quickly on the sneaker app. And I was just lucky enough to get my size. I wasn't trying to pay um, resale for this sneaker. I wasn't trying to pay no $200 or 180 I wasn't trying to do it. So I was glad I was able to get this off the sneaker app. Um, I do have the white and pink and gray uh, Air Max 90 coming. That'll be here Tuesday. I got that from Dick Sporting Good. Um, 119 free shipping. So that'll be here Tuesday. Hopefully I'm not sick on Tuesday so I can get that review out for you guys. And you don't have to wait a week for that. So look forward to that from me as well. Like I said, and another thing, like before I go on, like since I've been sick, it's been about like two weeks. So Kobe did pass away. So I didn't really give the opportunity to say anything to you guys about that and how it affected me. But it definitely affected me a lot. Like, you know what I mean? I grew up an hour and a half, two hours from Kobe where Kobe played basketball at Lower Marion. So I actually got to see Kobe play in high school. I met Kobe when I was like 13 years old. 14 years old, I actually met Kobe for the first time. So I actually got to see him play. I know a lot of people that knew Kobe personally and things like that. So it did affect me a little different from everybody else. You know what I mean? Like I said, it was something tragic, something that will never let go. Like I said, Kobe is from the area around where I do live. You know what I mean? So a lot of people, like I said, knew him. I used to work at, uh, at, at this Wagman, the supermarket. And I'll just give you guys a quick story one time. And Rip Hamilton lived in Coatesville, which is only enough. That was like 20 minutes where I lived. So Rip lived 20 minutes. Kobe lived like two hours. And um, Rip actually brought Kobe into my supermarket one day. I was cool with uh, Rip's dad. So Rip and his dad brought Kobe into the supermarket. We all got to meet him. Um, Rip used to bring, if you if you know Coatesville, Ash Park. Rip brought Kobe to Ash Park one year. So 
I had a couple incidents where I got to meet Kobe. He was always a cool guy, always willing to talk to people, sign autographs, wasn't cocky. Like I said, the first time I met Kobe, he was still in high school. He's probably like 16, 17 years old when I met him. And he was just, at that time, he was a star. Like, there was no denying it. He was arrogant, you know what I mean? But that's because he was so good. So it was like watching a man play amongst boys. He was that talented, you know what I mean? So just a little, um, like I said, just to me to give you guys an idea like what Kobe meant to me. Like, you know what I mean? Kobe was not my favorite player. Coming from Philly, we hated Kobe because he beat my team. Allen Iverson and my Sixers, that was my team, you know what I mean? Kobe beat us in the, in the finals 4-1. And we won the first game in L.A. And Kobe teased us like we was going to win. And then he came back to Philly and destroyed us. So every time uh, Kobe came to Philly, even though he was from Philly, Philly always booed him. But we still had love and respect for him. That's just what it was. Like, you know, we booed him because we loved the competition from Kobe. But we loved him. Like, Philly loves Kobe. We'll never forget Kobe. We'll always love him and cherish him. And that's just my final words. No, I didn't make a whole video out of it. No, I wasn't trying to make money off the man's name. I seen a lot of that going on. People posting videos. Five, six different videos on Kobe. We get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's a true fan, a huge fan. People out here getting wild tattoos of Kobe and all that. And some people there are real fans, and I get that. But some of y'all, come on, man. Y'all do anything for views. And to me, that's corny. But that is what it is. So like I say, just my condolences. I just didn't get an opportunity to tell you guys the moments that I actually met Kobe Bryant. Like, you know what I mean? And the people that I know that knew Kobe Bryant, we knew him way before he threw on the purple and gold. Like, you know what I mean? So the Kobe means the world to us. That's just it, you know what I mean? But like I said, let's get back to the sneaker, the Air Max 1 Royal Blue colorway. I also have the Air Max 1 Royal colorway. So you guys can kind of get a little taste about what they look, little similarities to these sneakers. I'm an Air Max 1 guy to, 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 to the T, you know what I mean? I'm trying to switch over and get better with the Air Max 90s, but I love the Air Max 1. That's just my favorite sneaker right now when it comes to the Air Max silhouette. And just to give you guys, like I said, just a little look at how they look similar and different. I know you guys can't wait to see this on foot, so stay tuned for the Air Max 90 Royal Colorway. have it that was on foot of the air max 90 in that royal blue colorway just want to give you guys a couple more looks at this sneaker before we get out of here like i said there's a bunch of different uh reviews on youtube mine would have been out a little earlier but like i said i apologize your boys have been having bad luck as far as getting sick but here you have it like i said hit to your royal blue all over the sneaker on the back of the tongue inside the sneaker on the bottom uh on the heel down here by the air bubble we got that clear air bubble um, sneaker like I said it's a simple silhouette just it's simple like when summertime comes that's why I'm hoping you guys get all these sneakers these are great summertime sneakers like I always say if you want to wear them Jordan boots you know what I mean that's why I call the Jordan sneakers if you want to be wearing those boots this summer then go right ahead I'm gonna be hitting up the parks with, with some Air Max 90s Air Max 1s I also have the turquoise color right here this is a sneaker that I keep getting asked about how I got this sneaker how did I get it um, I think I got it off the GOAT app or or StockX. I can't actually remember. I think it was GOAT. But these are definitely a dope turquoise sneaker colorway. Something I'm going to kill it this summer with. Also have the, oh, what are these called? the Volt pair as well for you guys. Got these um, reviews out for these as well. You can check that out. And I also have the, um, whew, the purple pair, the great pair. I think I'm the only one with all of these colorways actually... Um, I don't think anyone has all one, two, three, four colorways. I think I'm the only one on YouTube with all these sneakers. Like I said, these are probably some of my favorites right here. The turquoise colorway, dope colorway. Um, I think I'm the only review out, maybe one more. This was a dope colorway. I think I ordered these off of the GOAT. I don't think these are going to be released in the U.S. I'm not sure. I know people keep asking. I just don't know. You know what I mean? Your best bet is probably just to go on the GOAT. Or stock and pay that a couple extra dollars to get the sneaker. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do. Um, I love the grape colorway. This is probably one of my favorite as well. Dope sneaker, like I said. And then combining these two, just to show you guys. A lot of people thought these were similar in colorways. But as you can see, there's a difference. You know what I mean? Definitely different with these sneakers. Not the same. 
Um, people did a lot of different photos on Instagram and when you put them together, they look the same, but they don't, you know what I mean? You're getting, this definitely looks like blue. It doesn't look like purple and you definitely got your great right there. You know what I mean? So like I said, dope sneakers, all of them the same, pretty much the same sneaker, just different hits of colorways right there. Like I said, I have the pink colorway coming. Everything's the same on here, except when you have the royal part, you got the pink part. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? So that'll be here Tuesday. Like I said, I'm definitely going to have that video out as soon as possible on Tuesday. I appreciate you guys. We're over like 43, 4,400 subscribers on the way to 5,000. Once I hit 5,000, I'm trying to do my best to give you guys some form of giveaway. You guys have definitely been there for me this year. We're definitely moving faster than I thought we were going to be moving. Um, when I do put out my reviews, I never look really to do great numbers. I don't know what my numbers are going to be. I have no expectation, but you guys are definitely showing me love. And another thing I want to share out, like I'm not the biggest YouTuber in the world. Like I said, we're on, we're on our way to 5,000. Like, you know what I mean? Some of these guys have 200,000, 300,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? But I just want to give some advice to some of you new guys out here and I see a lot of new guys coming you don't have to just keep flooding 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 YouTube with videos like you know what I mean I know some of you guys feel like well if I got 60 views here I get 70 views here at least that's something no take those 20 videos that you've made in a two week span and make two three decent good videos like that's my motto I'm not gonna keep shoving shoving videos shoving videos shoving videos that's not what it's about like you know what I mean I know we're all trying to get views but make sure your content is good like some people can put out videos every day and give good content some of you just putting out videos because you're trying to get views and you're trying to get a little check from YouTube you know what I'm saying always remember it's about the sneakers at the end of the day that's what it's about so take your time put a little effort into your videos and then maybe you'll get more views like I said I always aim for like a thousand views when I put out a video that's it like you know what I'm saying this video right here, I think it's like three weeks old, almost at 20,000 views. Like, you know what I'm saying? So good content will get good views. It'll happen for you. You know what I'm saying? But don't feel like you got to keep shoving and shoving and shoving video down your subscribers' throats just so they'll watch it. You know what I mean? They'll grow bored of you. You know, I know because I, I subscribe to some people's channels too. So you can't keep forcing me and forcing me every day just to have videos out because you're trying to search for views. So like I said, take your time, put some effort into your content, buy some more sneakers, because that's, that's what people want to see, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. I don't do anything else but review sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Maybe people, some people say, no, nah, you need to do more, you need to go vlog, and you need to go to this. And no, this is what Now does. Now puts out these videos, shows you what dope to wear, shows these on feet. That's what I do. I'm not changing for anybody. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you rocking with me whether I'm sick or not. And until I see you guys next time, one last look. Air Max 90, Royal Blue Colorway. I'm Ghost.